I got two boxes of the Beyblade Quad Drive Beyblades by Hasbro. Today, let's open up the Vanish Fafnir F7 Quad Drive Edition. Let's unbox this thing. First, let's see the stats on the back. They claim the stamina is a 12, okay? Defense a 9, which is pretty good. Agility 3, pretty low. I mean, these are kind of gibberish and just like garbage. doesn't mean anything. Let's see, it comes with a launcher and a ripcord. Nice. Okay, let's open this. I want to see how it's going to do up against uh, the actual Vanish Fafnir from uh, Takara Tommy. So we're going to put it up against that as well. And let's see if it's worth it. These boxes were only uh, 18 bucks after tax here in Canada. So, I mean, it's not that bad considering you get two Beyblades, right? I think you get two. I'm not sure. So let's get this thing open. Oh, come on. Oh, man. There we go. Okay. Okay. Just like the Beyblade Pro Series it comes wrapped in some wax paper. Oh, it's plastic. No way. The attack ring is plastic. Look at that. Compared to the rubber by Takara Tani. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, we got the same uh, weight disc. So they call this one the QD03. And you get the cool performance tip, the driver, where uh, you could turn it and you could switch modes. So this kind of has a flat tip. You get a little bit of an attack type there. Plus the uh, defense and stamina right there. Okay, so all you got to do is put these together. Put that on top. Oh, there's no clicking. Look at that. Listen. It's just smooth. Okay. No clicking. Unlike uh, the actual Vanish Fafnir. Let's hear the clicks on this. Yeah, no clicks on this. Completely smooth. Right off the bat, I can feel a difference in weight. So let's weigh these guys. They named this Beyblade Series Quad Drive for this reason. It has four modes. So the first mode you get is the regular low mode. Then the second mode you have is Apex mode. So you just take this off, twist the core, Put the plastic clip on top and put the core on the bottom here. Actually, the core should go in first, sorry. Core on the bottom. Then the plastic clip on top. There you go. Now you are in apex mode. This is their high mode. It's a little bit wobbly in this mode. I feel like it's just too light to be in apex mode. And then after that, you have the, the driver that's capable of switching uh, modes. So you got the defense stamina mode, and then you have the attack mode here. So you just twist and clip it on and off, and it changes. So... You can have apex mode and defense mode, or you can have an attack mode. Let's take this off. There you go. Now it's an attack mode. Oh, it's pretty fast. Okay, let's first weigh the original Vanish Fafnir by Takara Tommy. 71.6 grams. Okay, now let's try the quad drive Vanish Fafnir that on there 48.6 so that's quite the difference more than 20 grams when it comes to the difference in weight well i'm sure it's because of the uh the metal that comes on the weight over there and this is all just plastic compared to the uh takara Tommy. see that so yeah that's probably why let's see the weight difference in the drivers this is the quad drive 9.2 grams to care atomic 9.4 uh 0.2 grams difference so i mean that's negligible nothing crazy now let's see the weight discs so this is the quad drive 26.5 and now the takara tommy 29.4 so a few grams 
majority of the weight is in the difference of the uh, attack ring. So quad drive, 13 grams. It's Kara Tommy, 32.7 grams. So that's a huge difference, but it's because of that metal here. Okay, now let's try them against each other. I also forgot to mention, it comes with no stickers. So you just get it as is, no stickers. And that's like the only red that you get on the Fafnir uh, Bit Beast, I guess if you could call it. But Takara Time's got a ton of red, red stickers all around, no stickers. Okay, let's test battle. Let's test how its launcher comes with. Three, two, one, let it rip. Okay, that's a solid launcher. I'll be honest, that was a good launch. No gear grinding or anything. Okay, battle time. Okay, let's battle against Pegasus. This is simple to carry Tommy Beyblade, not powerful. Oh, let it rip. It's holding up its own against the Takara Tommy Beyblade. Not bad. I don't think it can spin steel. There's no rubber on it. Oh, is it going to win? Oh, it did win. Last second win. I'm impressed. Oh, burst finish. It's time to get serious and let's go to attack mode. Quad drive, activate. I wish it had some uh, clicks so it wouldn't burst as easily. Three, two, one, Let's rip. Attack mode. Oh, circling the stadium. Oh, almost wiped out. Ah, oh, there it goes. Okay, let's try it in high mode. Let's see if that makes a difference. Okay, I figured it out. To put it in high mode, you just take the plastic piece off and then you twist this and it comes right off. So there we go, got on high mode. Now let's try to battle again. Two, one, let it rip. See if it could do better this time. Oh, it's wobbling. Ah, oh, and it's out. Let's try it against Beyblade Pro Series Lord Spriggan. Oh no, oh, oh, it's back in the game. Oh no, let's try again. What the rip? So the Spriggan is Lord Spriggan from the Hasbro Pro series. I guess the quad drive. Uh, Vanish Fafnir, so oh man, it's not doing too well in this uh, Apex mode, so let's go back to regular low mode. Oh, it won! Okay, not bad. Let's go back to low mode. I feel like that's better. It's doing all right, but not the best. Oh, it won, okay. <laughs> Challenge, Takara Tommy Vanish Fafnir versus Hasbro's Quad Drive Vanish Fafnir. Rip. Ooh, okay. I'll give it to them. It does look good. It's a nice looking Beyblade, but performance wise, doesn't stand a chance. Ah, yeah, so it doesn't stand a chance against Karatami one, but uh, I mean, it's it's okay, but is it $18 okay? I don't know. Like, this is 20 bucks. This is 18 bucks. So it's like, 
choose it. Do you want to spend $2 more and get something way better? Or do you want to spend 18 bucks? But you also have to consider the shipping costs and, you know, the wait time. I mean, it's okay. It's not that bad. So there you guys go. I rate it like 6.5 out of 10.